Hi, my name is Lee. Welcome to L4 Web Design. In this video, I want to show you how you can create uh, your first Shopify app. This is a very basic step by step guide on how to create a Shopify app with PHP Laravel, which is pretty straightforward actually. And in this video, I want to show you how it's done. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so here I am at my terminal on my desktop. Now, the first thing that I have to do is create a new Laravel application. I'm going to do that with Laravel new L4 Shopify app. You can call it whatever you want. Now that it has created our app, we can change the directory to that project and open it up in VS Code. Here we are at our newly created project and let's just add this project to valet so let's say valet park and also secure it with an ssa ssl connection so now our site is also secured and let's just check it out in the browser and there we go there is our uh, laravel application now the question is, how do we get this application over to Shopify? And thankfully, we don't have to do all, the, all of this ourselves, but there is a very, very nice uh, Laravel package on GitHub, which will do all of the heavy lifting in the background for you, and um, so you don't have to do it all yourself. So let's check, the, uh, check this project out. It's called uh, it's it's from OC set or OSI set. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it really. Let's just head over here to GitHub. And if we scroll down, we can see that we can go to the wiki and it's very well documented. So here you can see how to install uh, the package and how to use it. So um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to copy this right here. I will also post the link in the description right here so you can go there yourself and just copy all of the commands. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to install this package. All right, now that it has installed, let's go on and copy the, our next command. There we go. Now you could also um, configure the access scopes that your app will need in this uh, file right here in Shopify-app.php. Uh, Shopify we can just quickly take a look at it, but we will not add any API scopes in this uh, video right here because this should just be a basic uh, tutorial on how to create or in install uh, this app. Now, if you should need any further access um, API scopes for your Shopify app, you can just go here and um, add them here. They should be comma, comma separated values. If you want to know what a API scopes your app can have, you can also um, Google API scopes Shopify go here and just take a look uh, what API scopes are offered by Shopify and um, you could just copy them over here and paste them to your Shopify app.php but we will not do that right now because um, yeah we don't need it right now so I'm gonna just close this tab right here and keep on going with our um, installation Okay, so right here they tell us to go to Shopify, to our Shopify dashboard, but we will do that later. We will skip this step right here and come back to it right uh, after. But first of all, we wanna um, set 
our routing. So we want to again copy this right here and uh, head on over to web.php where we can set the routes. Basically, it's just the same, but we just added the middleware right here where it says verify.shopify. So you can make sure that only verified persons can uh, access your app. Verified users, I'm sorry. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to edit our welcome.blade.php and I'm going to say welcome.blade.php. Yes, and I'm just going to replace all of this right here with the code that I just copied. I'm going to say save and that should be it. Now, the next thing that we have to do is edit our user model. Let me just go over to user. Open up the user model right here and see what we have to change right there. So we should add those namespaces. We should next modify the class to become that. Now let's do that. Okay. It's going to give us an error, but we have to also use shop model. There we go. And our app should look like this. Our model should look like this. I'm sorry. Okay, so is there anything left to do? Okay, we can. They recommend us to, to also install the jobs, but that would be uh, out of the scope for this video. I might make another video for the jobs because that is also very um, important for you if you want to submit your app and actually. Um, uh, publish your app, then you will have to use those jobs, but they're not, uh, they're optional just, uh, if you just want to install the app. Okay. So, um, next thing that we have to do is we have to set up our database connection. So let us go over here to our .env and uh, we want to set up a MySQL port. All right, database. All right, root. All right, let's say root one, two, three, four. Okay, so I just set up all, all of the important information for the database. Now, the next step that we want to do now is we want to migrate our uh, our database. So let's say PHP artisan migrate. And let's cross our fingers that everything is good. Of course, we got an error right here. Let me just see what happened. Oh, yeah, of course. I first have to create the database. Otherwise, It will not be able to migrate it anywhere. Let's try again. And there we go. My database is now um, migrated. Let's check it out right here. And you can see that it also added all of those tables right here. All right, great. So we can now go on to the next step. So now that we set up everything in Laravel, we now have to go over to Shopify. And in order to create your Shopify app, you will have to have a uh, partners account. Now I already have one. That's why I'm just going to log in. But if you don't have one already, you should join uh, the partners program and um, then just log in. Okay, so here we are at our Shopify partner dashboard. 
and uh, you can see here that I already installed some development stores and those will be necessary later on if you want to test your app because you will have to test your app within a development store but uh, for now we just want to create an app so we will have to go here to apps and on the left uh, on the right hand side over here you can see create app and we just want to create a custom app now our app name we can say l4 shopify app okay uh, it cannot be called shopify so let's just say shopify there we go so our app URL, we will have to use the the URL for our app that we set up before with uh, Valet. So we can just say L4 Shopify app dot test. Copy this right here and all right, so does need the HTTPS. Okay, so for our URL uh, redirection, we will have to say we will have to give it our URL slash and say authenticate. All right. Now you can also read this at the installation part from OC set. I will just show it to you right here just so you know that I don't just make it up, but you can also read it right here and the redirect your eye to be this right here. All right. So we want to go ahead and say create app. So now that it has created our app, you can see that um, Shopify will give us some API keys right here. So you can see right here, API key and API secret, and we will need this uh, in our project. Now let's just go over to our project and take a look at this Shopify-app.php. Now you can see here that uh, you could enter your Shopify API key right here, and you could also paste your Shopify API secret right here but what we want to do is we don't want to actually you never want to enter or, or paste your api keys anywhere in this project you always want to paste your api keys in your dot env file so i'm just gonna command c copy uh this right here this uh, property right here go over to my env, just paste it right here, say equals to, and I'm gonna go over here and also copy this property right here, say equals to right here. And now I'm gonna go back to my project or to my app. And now I'm just gonna copy my API key right here. And I'm gonna copy my API secret as well. All right, so I will just delete all of those uh, API keys after this tutorial. So once you see this tutorial, those API keys will not be available anymore. So <laughs> there's nothing you can do with it. But uh, just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna paste everything in here. All right, so that's the way that you should do it as well. Always po po uh, paste those API keys and API secrets in your .env and not within your project because afterwards you're going you're gonna deploy it on some server and then those uh, API keys will be exposed. So yeah, just remember, don't do it. You also don't want to push it to a GitHub repo or whatever, because anybody could just look at your API keys and those will be public, publicly available. And yeah, that's just something that you want to avoid. So we're almost done, actually. Now, um, let's just go back to our 
installation guide and take a look if there is anything else needed. We're gonna skip those jobs. We're gonna skip the webhooks for now. That will be a separate video as well. So yeah, now let us just take a look. Now it should work. Now um, we can now test our app. For that we can select a store. Now you should already have a development store if you don't have a development store yet. Um, just create one really quickly and come back to your app and click select store. Now I'm just uh, going to say install app to this development store right here. And now here comes the moment of truth. We can see here that um, we are about to install our Shopify app. Let's say install app. And yeah, now you can see we are authenticated. We are verified. We now have our app right here running within Shopify. Everything is working well. And um, I know it does not look very good. So in order for it to look very good, very nicely, very clean, uh, Shopify actually provides us with uh, some components or a style guide com called Shopify Polaris. Now, let me just show you this right here. Shopify Polaris. You can see here they provide excuse me, they provide you with uh, different components and just to make your app look or just to make the front end of your app look like uh, the front end of of Shopify, basically. So it just looks like, uh, yeah, it, it just looks like it's one thing. <laughs> Yeah, you get the point. So yeah, for example, here you can see you can see uh, cards or yeah, whatever you need. And down here you can see the React code that you could just copy and paste into your project. So and make your app look like it's a native Shopify app, which is really neat and gives um, some just some better better user experience to the users of your app and how to integrate this into your app that I'm going to show you in the next video. All right. So stay tuned. And um, if you liked the video, if it was help helpful, then hit the like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye.